Good morning. Our reading today is from the final chapter in the book, book titled Joshua in the Old Testament. This is the first book following the five books that make up the Jewish Torah. It is a transitional book, and according to most biblical scholars, it is too deeply overlaid with myths, folk tales, hero stories, and nationalistic propaganda to be seen as actual history. This book is important, however, for a couple of reasons. Although an actual Joshua probably didn't exist, the name given to the leader that followed Moses is the anglicized pronunciation of the Jewish name Yeshua, which we also know as Jesus. This name would play a large role when the New Testament comes to be written. The second reason for the importance of this book is somewhat related to the first. The role of Joshua was to move the people of Israel to a new singular way of understanding God and would usher in a new religion known as Judaism, which was created from the laws of Moses and tempered by the new emerging prophetic voices. This is the role that Jesus would play once again centuries later. In the final chapter, Joshua calls all of the people together and challenges them to abandon all of their various gods in order to serve one God. It is a call to solidarity as a people to move forward with one common purpose. Reading from Joshua 24, 1 to 3, and 14 to 25. Then Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Sheshem and summoned the elders, the heads, the judges, and the officers of Israel. And they presented themselves before God. And Joshua said to all the people, Now therefore love your God and serve God in sincerity and faithfulness. Put away the gods your ancestors served. Now if you are willing to serve God, choose this day whom you will serve. But as, far, but, as, but as for me and my household, we will serve God. Then the people answered, Far be it from us that we should forsake God to serve other gods. For it is our God that brought us and our ancestors from slavery to freedom. Then Joshua said to the people, you are witnesses against yourselves that you have chosen to serve God. And they said, We are witnesses, Joshua said. Then put away the foreign gods that are among you and incline your hearts to the God of Israel. Joshua made a covenant with the people that day. May these words open us to Spirit's presence. And may wisdom come to us this day.